Congratulations Sir Lange, you got the best grade as usual. The university will help you find a great job. We will recommend you to major companies. Thank you so much sir. As for you, Miss Stepanek, you had a fair grade. I encourage you for the future, but I could not give you the letter of recommendation from the university. Okay, thank you sir. He always liked my cousin more than me. I'm sure he gave me low marks on purpose. I don't like Solange. Really not. One day, it will be me who'll shine. Good evening girls. So give me your results. Everything went well. We both succeeded, except that Solange alone would be recommended to get a job quickly. And I'm going to have to fend for myself. It is already good that you have finished your studies. So Solange could soon start helping me with the burdens of the house. I am already old and have done my best to raise you without a husband. Now it's time for you to take over. Don't worry, Mom. Me and my cousin are going to start carrying some loads around the house soon. Excuse me, Auntie. I want to go see a friend waiting for me outside. Okay, let's go. As I'm telling you, my cousin is the best. So she will be the one who will have the job and not me. At least you also have in your diploma. No, that means that I will have to start dropping off my resume from office to office while Madam has her job assured. And her mother who is there telling me to find a job to help her with the expenses of the house. I didn't ask her to take care of me when my parents died. She should have left me with my uncle, who is the only unwealthy person in the family. And why didn't your uncle ask to babysit you? Because he didn't want to keep me as he travels too much. Excuse me, but I think you are ungrateful to this aunt. She is the only one in your father's family who has agreed to raise you. And not only that she put you and Tommy her daughter at the same school. But you don't like it. I really don't understand you. Stephanie, it's normal that you don't understand me. I have a lot of anger in my heart because I would have liked to have had my own parents and not be forced to be grateful to an aunt and her daughter. She is more beautiful, she has the best grades, everyone likes her. Even men are more attracted to her than to me. She is everything and that really annoys me. You don't want to listen to what I'm saying. I tried to support my cousin, but now I hate her even more. Why? She is the one who always has everything. I also wanted to have this letter of recommendation, to have a well-placed job and to be able to rent an apartment for myself. Well, I think I finished my job today. I will report to the bosses and leave. The best of my employees. How is it going? I am doing well, boss. Today it's your birthday. So I decided to give you the good news today as a birthday gift. I am announcing that you will henceforth occupy the position of your boss. He is going on a trip and I chose you to replace him. Because honestly, you do your job very well. Thank you so much, sir. Please don't thank me. You earned it because you are a serious daughter. I am very happy that you are the one my son has chosen. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening, Stephanie. Where is mom? I have good news to tell you. She already went to bed. She had a headache. I am so happy. I wanted to let you both know that I have been promoted to the position of my boss. And what's more, my fiancé wants to come and ask for my hand here next week. Congratulations, cousin. I am happy for you. Why is life so unfair to me? I couldn't find a job, even though when my cousin found for me. They fired me. I am not lucky either. I only come across men who only want to sleep with me. When will I finally have the chance in life? I'm going to make sure that she fails at least in one thing. This marriage, she won't have it. I'm going to separate her from her fiancé. Good evening, Queen. I have a job to ask you. Good evening. Okay, I'm listening to you. I have a cousin who has everything. She succeeds in everything she does and soon her fiancé wants to come and see her mother to ask to marry her. I want her fiancé to forget about her and for her to fail in the sentimental field. Okay, I'm going to consult to see. 
I see you have a good cousin. She never wanted anyone to hurt anyone. The ways in which I think we can reach her will be a bit difficult. What I am proposing is a very simple thing, but you yourself will do the work. I'm going to give you a powder that you can put in any beauty cream of your choice and you are going to get your cousin to use this cream on her face. And that's all. And that's all. Yes, that's all. From that moment on, when a man approaches your cousin in order to seduce her, he will feel like she has an old woman's face and will go away. Okay, got it, thanks. I have the impression that you have started to have wrinkles, because you work too much. That's why I bothered to go buy a collagen cream this morning. I bought one for myself too. The lady I bought from said that it was really effective in maintaining skin elasticity. You are really a nice cousin. Thanks for taking the trouble to give me this cream. Please, sweetie. As you are the one who insures almost all the charges in the house, I wanted to do this gesture at least to thank you. I think this is the first gift you've given me. I was teasing you. I am going to start using this cream as early as tonight. I am truly grateful to God for all the good things that He is constantly doing in my life. I think I will even start going to church soon. In recent times, strangely, I have begun to want to read the Bible. I also think it's because of my colleague who always talks about God. Good evening, Solange. How is it going? Yes, great. I couldn't wait to see you. Me too. I don't know what's happening to me. We can cancel the appointment, please. I am going to call you back tomorrow. I saw that you were a bit weird just now. Okay, let's put off until tomorrow. It's weird how I felt when I saw my fiancé this today. It's like there's something around her or on her that disgusts me. And it's as if she were a stranger to me. It was as she was a very old woman. Hello, sweetie. Yes? Good evening. Excuse me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I came to see my dad. Well, that's enough. Tell me what's wrong. You've been avoiding me for a month. You don't pick up my calls anymore and when we meet, you make up excuses to leave. Have you met anyone else? Is that it? You don't want to marry me anymore. Because you insist on knowing. I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't feel like I'm in the relationship anymore. I would like us to think again to see if we are really made for each other. I thought you would end up saying that to me. Okay, I'm not going to insist. Mom, my fiancé left me. What happened between you? I don't know. Everything was fine between us. Then, suddenly, he started avoiding me. Finally, he told me that he is no longer sure about the relationship. It must be because of something. It's going to be fine. My daughter stopped crying. Yes. My plan worked very well. It was time for you to lose something in your life too. I am so happy. I'm going to go tell my friend Estes. My plan worked very well. It is was necessary that you two are losing something in your life. I am so happy. I'm going to go tell my friend Esther about my achievement. Good evening my friend. Have you finally found a job? Is that why are you so happy? No, but I've achieved something bigger than that, but it's a secret. How? Is it a secret? It was you who called me to say that you wanted to tell me something and you don't want to talk anymore. You know that I am too curious. Tell me about it. Promise me first that you won't tell anyone. I promise it. Can't wait to know. I destroyed my cousin's romantic relationship and I even think that she will never marry because all men will run away from her. What do you mean? What did you do? She is very beautiful. I don't think what you're saying will work. No, spiritually, her beauty is hidden. I put an old age mask on her face and the eyes of men. She will be like a very old woman. And how did you do it exactly? 
I just gave her an evil cream in which I put a powder that a marabou gave me. But why did you do something like that to her? I understand that she was the one who was completely taking care of you. And she was always very nice to you. Why don't you like her? I don't like her, that's all. But don't you think you went too far? I didn't know you could go to a marabou. You are proud of what you have done. Aren't you afraid of God? You know, he sees everything you do and it's written. The day you die, your works will follow you. Do you know that? Stop talking to me about God. Everyone has the right to do what they want here, on this earth. Those who live as they want and doing evil will one day be judged by God. You can still repent of your bad works despite all that you have done. Jesus of love wants to save your soul. You don't know when you are going to die. Don't worry about me. Stop talking to me about God. I think I made a big mistake coming to tell you that. But apparently, you have already changed sides. May the Lord open your eyes. I can't continue being friends with you if you don't want to change. I don't care about your friendship and advice. What could I do to lose my wallet? That was all my salary this month. Why are you crying in the middle of the street? What problem do you have? I lost my wallet. I had all my salary inside. I wonder how I will be able to survive this month. My boss won't agree to give me an advance for the next month. Sorry sweetie, I'm going to give you a small amount. It can help you one or two weeks if you manage well. Really? Thank you so much you are nice, I don't know you very well, but from what your cousin tells me about you, I see that you are nice. But she says the opposite. What do you mean, she's saying the opposite? Does she speak to you about me often? Yes, she talks to me about you very often, but in a bad way. Can we sit somewhere? I want to tell you something. Okay, let's go to Ivo's restaurant. What I want to tell you it's a bit serious. It was right here that I got the news. I was wondering what I was going to do to get in touch with you without your cousin knowing. But God wanted us to meet today and I give glory to God for that. Are you intriguing me? Tell me, please. Stephanie called me yesterday to say she wants to see me. When I came, she was very happy. I asked her what made her happy, but she said it was because she successfully destroyed your love life. How is she dating my fiancé? No, it's worse than that. She told me that she went to a marabout and they put an old age mask on your face. So, men see you like an old woman. She really did that? However, I have always considered her to be a sister. My mom always treated her the same way I did. I think it was thanks to this collagen cream that she gave me. I was naive myself. I never understood why she hates you and your mom. She is very jealous of you. I never liked the way she talked about you. She doesn't even want to repent. What am I going to do to get rid of this mask? I have abandoned God. For several weeks now I have not read my Bible nor pray. Go back home and repent before God and ask the Holy Spirit to help you in prayer. He will conduct you how to pray and destroy that spiritual mask. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Lord Jesus, I thank you, because I believe that if I heard what my cousin did to me today, it was thanks to you who wanted to deliver me. I repent of all my sins and to the fact that I have become a lukewarm Christian. Today, I come back to you. I decide to follow you and you alone. Forgive me for all my sins. In the name of Jesus, I prayed. Amen. It's written in Revelation 12, verse 11. They defeated him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony. The blood of Jesus is the most powerful weapon against any form of satanic work. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So, in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority on every dark force working against my life and I destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. By the name of Jesus, 
I destroy the spiritual mask to on my face in the name of Jesus Christ. I send in the name of Jesus Christ the fire of the Holy Spirit on my face to destroy any spiritual mask and every bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, sweetie, for the way I've treated you recently. I was really stupid. What happened opened my eyes to the power of God. That is why I also decided to be more serious with the Lord, so as not to be one day a sorcerer's chicken. Don't make me laugh by wanting to hurt us. My cousin instead pushed me into God's arms. That's why I don't blame her. If it hadn't happened, I might be away to the Lord until I died. I would like us to resume our relationship where it was and start preparing for our marriage. I give thanks to God. The devil separated us, but God reconciled us. The most important thing is that Jesus always triumphs and will always triumph in our homes and lives. Amen. Yes, Jesus always triumphs. Glory to God in the highest heavens. Hallelujah. My cousin found out everything, but she didn't tell her mother or me. For the past two weeks I have been watching her and I am starting to be afraid of her. It really scares me that she has remained silent until today. I will quickly run away to the village before she decides to take revenge. I'm sure she is planning a big deal for me. I am leaving this town. I will go cultivate the land in the village. Maybe there, I will succeed in agriculture. Brothers and sisters, we are at the end of this video. The Bible tells us about the importance of prayer, so we must do all our effort to have a strong prayer life. This are some Bible verses Philippians 4, 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. Colossians 4, 2 Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Psalm 145, 18 The Lord is near to all who call on Him to all who call on him in truth. 1 Thessalonians 5:17 pray without ceasing. James 5:16 therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. If a science 6:18 praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Mark 11:24 therefore I tell you Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Romans 12 12 Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Romans 8 26 Likewise the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. James 5 13 Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Luke 18, 1 And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Acts 2 42 And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Jeremiah 29, 12 Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. Matthew 6, 6 But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Matthew 6, 7 And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. John 17, 1-26 When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. 1 Thessalonians 5:16-18 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 John 5:14 And this is the confidence that we have toward him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us. Matthew 26, 41 Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. 
Hebrews 4:16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. 2 Chronicles 7:14. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. John 15, 7 If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Jeremiah 33, 3 Call to me and I will answer you, and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Matthew 7, 7 8 Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Philippians 4, 6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Matthew 21 22 And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive, if you have faith. James 4, 2 You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have, because you do not ask. Acts 1:14. All these with one accord were devoting themselves to prayer, together with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Matthew 6, 9-13 Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heave. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment.